this is Bonnie and today I am going to be using um, we had a collection of flower fairies and this one is Zara's Daisy and I'm choosing this one because there's a lot of open lines on it instead of totally solid lines and I'm also going to be using Tingle Whisper a paper from there and um, we're gonna go ahead and get started I've got things ready to go and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you um, what we're gonna be doing. I am gonna be stamping on this paper and I'm also gonna be stamping on one piece of Tangle Whisper paper. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna be doing some horizontal stamping again today, which makes it a little bit harder to do the video and without turning my um, mat or my um, platform. I am gonna be using Nocturne uh, Versafine Clear Nocturne. And I'm going to be stamping this flower twice on this paper and twice on the um, and twice on the Tangle Whisper paper. Now there's um, another way to do this technique um, that I'm going to be doing. Um, typically, people what I have seen is actually they actually stamp on top of what they've already inked on this card base. Like they'll make strips of color and then they'll stamp on top of it. Um, but I'm gonna, I wanna do something a little bit different. Try a little bit different, need a little bit more ink. You would be proud of me I did ink up my ink pad before I started this video. So we should be pretty good. So like I said, we're going to be stamping this twice on here, and then we're going to be stamping it twice in the Tangle Whisper. And it's going to overlap on this paper, so I've got this extra paper here at the side. I think this can overlap, or just barely touch. This works really well, although I can see I've already got a little bit of ink, so I need to come down on that. That's okay. That'll work. Even though I've got a little bit, I can make that work. Trust me. All right. Because you see it's overlapping on that, but that's okay. I am not a fan of white background cards just for that very reason. The ink that gets everywhere. You really, I mean, you really have to be careful about all this white paper that shows and how that goes. But anyway, this looks really nice going across anyway. Um, it would This would be a great card if you were a colorist and you just wanted to color the background and then add your fairy if you wanted to in the center. Uh, I think it would look really great. And I'm not really sure what the end result's going to be for this. I, I might add the fairy. So um, I'm not really happy with this one piece right here. I must not have hit that part with the ink pad. Okay, I have it now. Okay. Yep, that did it. So I'm going to go ahead and set up. I want you to see. I'm going to go ahead and set up the other paper. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this all set up on here. It is not matching up exactly to what I've done originally on this other paper. Again, it doesn't matter. I just need two um, stamps, and if it doesn't, I've got two different cards. So, but I have a plan, and I'm hoping that I can get that to work right. If not, like I said, I'm gonna have two different cards. And that's, so it's never a waste. All right, so we've got that one. I'm gonna flip this paper to the other side. Get my tape back down there. And get this set on. Now I do 
I want that to overlap a little bit as best I can because that's what I did for that other one. But it's probably not going to be the same. Now I've got two of these um, papers in my in my um, pad, <clears throat> but I don't think I'm going to use the same one again to stamp the fairy because I might have her um, match these if I put her on. I'm still thinking about adding her. All right, so we've got two really good stamped pages, papers. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just slice this up into, into pieces. And I'm kind of like looking at this one too, knowing where I, I did put a little bit of my, my inkiness. So I'm kind of like paying attention to that too and what I might possibly want to cover up. Um, so I think I'm going to skip this little bit right here. And then I am going to be cutting as close as I can. They're going to be different sizes. And you can see how I'm kind of like putting these off to the side. And then I'm going to cut. I know that that piece is not going to match up perfectly. So I'm going to cut a little bit of that off. And then I'm going to cut some more pieces. And you can see I'm having like spaces in between each one of them and because um, that's what I need to do and okay I'm gonna cut one more piece here I think that's right because I'm gonna do every other one so I'm gonna cut this piece right here a little bit and then a little bit off the end I'll turn this one around, it's easier to hold when it's more full. Okay, so those are the pieces that we have. So the next thing we want to do is we want to, or I am going to cut it across to two probably, but it's kind of like a puzzle piece now, and we're going to put this on and match that up as best we can, but like I said, I'm going to be cutting the top and the bottom pieces. I'm not going to use this one, but I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to just line those up. Not going to use that one. Again, like I said, I knew that some of that ink was not going to be the best underneath. And I will be using that one. Not going to use that one. And I'm going to be using this one. So, like I said, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting these across. So, um, I don't even know that they need to be perfectly even. I don't think that I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make them just make it easy. It's gonna be random. But I'm gonna be cutting off across the top there and here, but not the white part. The white part is gonna be my base for like you're building a puzzle. So I'll be right back. Okay, so change of plans. Um, I decided I didn't like this wonky thing at the top. So I am actually going to cut my card back. And I should have left those longer pieces on. That would have allowed me to not cut it back as far as I am cutting it back, but it's still all gonna be good. So we've got that, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom as well. I need to go up a little bit. All right, so that is going to be our main part of our card and then we're going to continue on with the rest of it i am going to um, add um, some outside and i'm going to ink it up a little bit and i'll be right back okay so i found a piece of paper that i could use it wasn't the same so i won't be using up two papers that are the same 
And I kind of thought the turquoise would go really good with the turquoise on here and the purple. It is also from the same paper pad. So I'm kind of like bringing that skirt down so it gets the darker part and the lighter part up at the top. So it almost looks like it already has um, its, um, I don't want to say shading. So that's the plan for that. And I'm going to stamp her in VersaFine Clear Nocturne. And I'm probably not going to have to do much of it. I mean, you can do coloring if you want to. Um, but I, I don't feel like I really have to with this one. Um, you could color in, still color in the flowers. You could color in her skirt. Um, but it doesn't have to be that way. Okay. Now it looks like she's reaching up to something and so I am going to have to probably pull um, one of the butterflies to put in there and cut that one out as well. And I'll probably stamp the butterfly from this paper because that will work. Oh, she looks great. She always looks really good. She's a good, they're really good stamps if you want to, the quality of them, like I said, um, and, and the um, character expressions, I really like them. So I'm going to go ahead and um, see if I'm going to add something to her and cut her out. Okay, so I decided to use the butterfly from the thank you set. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and stamp her or stamp that butterfly right above her and that color. I think the color will work for the card. And then that will be something, again, all I'll have to do is cut out. Anyway, the thank you set number is, just in case you try to find it, it's 272. Because um, you can actually purchase the thank you set. All right. I'll go ahead and get that taken care of. Okay, I decided I am going to edge this entire card uh, with um, peacock feathers. Because it does match with the, what's on the bottom. And I'm just going to go ahead and add that to the edge of everything. And then I'm going to go ahead and mat this with uh, probably black. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Or I'm just going to put it on a black card, which I might end up doing anyway. All right, so that kind of ties that all in. And then the next thing I want to do before I cut out the fairy and the butterfly, so you can see that's what I did with that, I want to add some of this extreme glitter paint. It's acrylic paint. It's what I use instead of all, you know, of stickles or anything like that. It's just this last me and I don't have to worry about a nozzle being clogged. I just really like it. So I'm just going to go over the butterfly wings. This will give it all a glitter sparkle. It never really shows up here. Perfect on the videos, but for real, it's if you like a little bit of shimmer and you know, obviously the stuff does not fall off. It's paint. It's perfect. So we'll get the butterfly wings all painted in. And we'll also do the fairy's wings. So the only other thing that I will probably add to um, the card in terms of extra uh, embellishing, embellishing is I will use a gold sparkly pen. And I will show that to you when I get it on the card. So there we go. We've got both those things done. And you can see it's really pretty and sparkly. And it goes, the color actually goes really good together. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her cut out. Okay, so we're all ready to finish off the card. I went ahead and like I said, just uh, cut her out, but you can see her sparkly wings. And I also um, put the sparkly um, paint on the butterfly and I added um, double-sided foam tape to both of these. And I usually like to see how they um, look together 
when I go to do, I think I'm going to go the other way. Yeah. So that's how that's going to go. And you could, if you don't put the foam tape on them, they could be a little bit, you know, you could just glue them down and they, but they really don't have a much of a thickness to them. And I did raise up the butterfly wings just a little bit, but again, it doesn't have to be. Um, so that is what the card looks like. I am going to add a little bit of the gold sparkly pen, as I told you. I'm going to add it here to the, all the dots that are in her, at her waist. That gives it a little bit of gold, and then I'm going to actually add it to her flowers and her hair. And then um, I think I am going to add a little bit to her wings, just the top, just to kind of highlight the top of her wings. Just get a little bit in there. And then for the butterfly, uh, there's like these two big circles at the bottom. I'm going to add the gold to that, and then these lines on the edge. I don't know if you can see that. Let me put it a little closer. There you go. And then the lines that little circles that are on the edge of the butterfly wings. I'm going to add um, some of the gold sparkly to that as well. So there we go. So we've got that all finished. You can add them. Actually, you know, it'd be kind of cool. Go ahead and add them if you want to, to the center of all these flowers. Um, that would also tie in the two pieces, I think. So you could just do that if you wanted, or just leave it as it is. Easy to do to add these little dots. I'll just do this. I don't even stay in the circles, I just dot away. go that's how quick that is so kind of like all ties in together you can see all the gold and it gives you a little bit of color a little bit different so I hope that you enjoyed um, this technique maybe it gives you some inspiration um, just to do whatever just to change things up a little bit it doesn't have to be perfect um, even just one of the um, stamped flowers would have been easier to cut apart than putting two of them together so I will have um, all the information in the description below. And um, I thank you for stopping by.